Mason, to be formal. Our little story started one lovely summer's day last June. One of those hot days when we dawdled along dreaming of holidays, bikinis and the south of France. I was on my way to meet two friends, Carol and Anne, at our favourite coffee bar. They were enjoying some hip music on the jukebox. Real gone gals, these two. Spielplatz, the nudist camp tomorrow, girls, I said blithely. The girl's first reaction was an emphatic no. But I talked fast, told them I had been, that I was sure they would enjoy a day out there. I showed them the Spielplatz booklet and explained that this particular nudist camp had been in existence over 30 years. They had never received any bad publicity at any time. So there was no need to worry about the type of people they would meet. that did it. Carol was the first to be convinced, and Anne quickly followed suit. We arranged that I would pick them up bright and early next morning. Thank goodness the day dawned bright and sunny. I hope the girls weren't having second thoughts about coming with me. Anne wasn't usually the liveliest of girls in the morning, but I could imagine as she made the coffee that particular morning, her imagination was working overtime. As for Carol, nothing ever bothered her. The house could fall in and she, as likely as not, would sleep right through it. I was confident of her. She wouldn't back out. I could imagine some of the questions the girls were going to ask. Carol and Anne were getting dressed and made up. Judith Camp or no, Carol was going to see that her makeup and hair were just right. Not far now. There, that looks all right. As usual, Anne was ready first. I wonder what Laura will wear today. Anne somewhat pertly replied, Doesn't matter much, does it, in view of where we're going? Come on, girls, I'm here. That's Laura, right on time. Let's go. As I thought, Carol seems happy enough, but Anne still looks somewhat doubtful. Or is it my imagination? I told the girls that as we had to drive through St. Albans, we would stop off at Verulamium, the ruins of the once famous Roman town. Nothing like being a vulture for culture sometimes.
stop at a garage for petrol. And as I wasn't quite sure of the route to Verulamium, I asked the attendant the best way to get there. I neglected to tell him my ultimate destination was Spielplatz. Some people have funny ideas about nudists and nudism. Of course, he might have offered to come with us. Make for the A5, he said, and away we went. As we drove along the country roads on that lovely day, our conversation seemed to consist of discussing clothes and fashion. I'm sure that a psychiatrist would find something interesting in this. We soon saw St. Albans Cathedral in the distance. When I decided to stop off at Verulamium, I had squatted up on the history of the place. I intended to blind the girls with science. It was great fun reeling off facts and figures, such as St. Albans Cathedral was first built in 303 AD and reconstructed in 1077 on the site where St. Alban, the first English martyr, was beheaded. The girls were suitably impressed by my knowledge. When we arrived, the quiet beauty of this lovely English setting seemed to transport us back through time. This was part of the original Roman wall. It's hard to believe that Roman centurions once stood guard here. to see the famous theatre. This was originally built in 140 AD, and one could almost imagine the cheers and applause of the audience as we stood at the very top looking down. As time is getting on, and as they say in the best travel films, we bade a reluctant farewell to very late. around a little anxiously. Understandably, I suppose. I had previously explained that they would be interviewed on arrival by an experienced receptionist who would help them to get acclimatized and to answer any questions. Like most people on their first visit, the girls were rather shaken when they walked into the hut to find a receptionist working in an office with nudity. At first, they were just a little embarrassed and very carefully studied the office walls and tried hard to avoid looking straight at the receptionist. We completed our application forms, and now the great adventure was really about to begin. Thank you. 